All right, guys, we're here today with Eric Lau from Shining 3D, and we're gonna dive in to the entire GeoMagic software suite. There's many different versions of this software you can get, and they all do different things. And of course, we sell them all here at Vision Miner, so we're gonna lay out the land for the GeoMagic suite, what each one does, and depending on what you're doing, what you should do, and which one you should buy. We're gonna start from the top. You've got GeoMagic Essentials, Design X, Control X, Wrap, etc. And we're going to go from the most basic of basic, Geomagic Essentials, and then go up to Geomagic for SolidWorks, which is a plug-in for SolidWorks, so you can use the Geomagic technology with your CAD tools if you're a SolidWorks user. And then, of course, Design X, and there is a Design X Essentials, but for the SolidWorks users, you really want Design X. And then from there, we're going to move on into Control X, which is more of an inspection and report and automation software. So we're just going to go into what you can do with each one. Eric, thanks so much for joining us. Thank Good you to for have you here. So let's start out at the top with Geomagic Essentials, which comes as part of the red bundle when you buy an Einscan 3D scanner or it can be purchased separately. What's the main use for Geomagic Essentials? Well, I'm glad you asked that question because every user of the Einscan scanners uh, will eventually come up with this kind of question or anyone who is beginning their 3D scanning journey. So Geomagic Essentials is there for anyone who is using a professional 3D scanner or anything that can generate a lot of data points. So these are high resolution scanners that can generate point clouds with over 200,000 to let's say 30 million uh, points. And if you have that many points in your file, it's a really high quality, high resolution mesh and it won't work well with any regular CAD program. Most of these CAD programs, can, they can only handle for around 100,000 points or triangles or less. So in order to get the most out of your scan data, you're going to need a very specific and optimized software. And so that's where Geomagic Software Suite comes into play. So all of the Geomagic Essentials, Geomagic for SolidWorks, Geomagic Design X, these can handle data sets expertly. It provides you with the tools that you need to either create the perfect mesh file for 3D printing or to give you the tools to reverse engineer the parts so that you can create your perfect solid model for any other manufacturing method. So if you've ever tried to import an STL into the like Fusion 360 or something like that, you'll quickly find out that it just crashes. So doing reverse engineering and working with these large data sets that just crash the regular CAD programs, you have to have an in-between program that can actually handle all that data. And Geomagic, the entire suite, is that program. What I've noticed is a lot of guys who get the program and they already know CAD, they go into Geomagic and they're like, oh, it's got all the same tools and similar you know, verbiage and different things. So it's very similar and easy for somebody who does CAD of any brand to pick it up. Well, you're exactly right. Uh, Geomagic software was made for the engineer. So that's why you'll see most of the same tools for drawing sketches or for extrusions or creating 3D models in the Geomagic suite. Walk me through a couple of the tools, like if you're taking scan data into Geomagic Essentials, and everything in Geomagic Essentials is essentially available in the other versions, but when you go into Geomagic Essentials, what are you gonna use? What are the tools that you're gonna use and need to know about? Geomagic Essentials is there to help you kind of create the perfect STL file or to extract features from it so that you can actually bring it those useful feature information into your native CAD program and then use that to model or replicate the part. So a few of the features that are really important in Geomagic Essentials is the Mesh Doctor tool. The Mesh Doctor tool will basically fix up the mesh data. It will analyze the mesh data and tell you exactly what is wrong with it so that, that's the one where it pops up with all the little red spots and it's like spikes non-manifold edges errors intersecting faces stuff like that right? exactly and these are the type of things that you'll find in any scan data but more specifically in any of the used parts that you want to replicate so that you can create a newer part. So for example, if you've got like a bracket 
or uh, a mold, for example, or something, and it was damaged. You know, they got a ding out of it or something like that. So you got to recreate that mold. Exactly. You scan the mold, go in, and just in like Mesh Doctor, the different um, 3D tools, the basic mesh tools on the first page, you can fill in areas or you can change the geometry. So you see, you got a nick on the side of one. You can easily go in there in the Mesh Doctor and just fix that nick without even going fully to the CAD modeling, but you'll want to do that. In the end, you want to create the perfect model for the manufacturing process. So you mentioned like a few things like nicks, like parts that were broken off, even like casted parts, like where you have like welded areas and stuff like that. Those are the type of things that you would want to erase from the mesh data because you don't really want that to show up in the end uh, when you either 3D print it or when you manufacture it again. That's the first thing that you see when you put in the scan data into Geomagic Essentials and it'll just do a, a thorough analysis of what it thinks is wrong or things that you don't want to see in your final product. One of the most important tools actually is the hole filling tool. In Geomagic Essentials, you have a very extensive hole filling tool that will help you basically get rid of any part of the data that you think is off. Fill it in so that you have the perfect smooth surface and then that basically helps you create the ideal mesh file. A lot of times we'll do a scan, like if we did a turbine blade or something, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of the times the stereoscopic view can't get all the way down into that little crack exactly. in the turbine blade, right? right? So Geomagic, you can fill this in with mesh, you know, uh, mesh mixer or uh, many different programs, but in Geomagic, you can really dive deep and get the geometry that was supposed to originally be there. It's just really powerful the way it fills holes. And the reason it's so powerful is because Geomagic is using data from thousands and thousands of parts and the hole filling tool takes this into account and tries to fill in that hole exactly how they think the design intent behind the model. They're like referencing a huge library of the experience of this company working with CAD and files for many, many, many years. It's actually feeding from that. Mesh Doctor, coal filling on a super complex level, defeaturing, remeshing, simplifying, smoothing. You can smooth parts with like a sandpaper where you just brush over it and it just continues to like move it down. Use auto surfacing to turn the whole thing into a NURBS surface. You can one click essentially auto surface to create a NURBS file where it's surface modeling and it actually just creates all the curves and everything, right? Really, really easy. Exactly, so NURBS surfacing is a really powerful tool for or organic shapes. Anything that you can't really CAD parametrically, you would want to create a freeform model. So any casted parts or any like say the arm or helmets or any other like shape that just it would be impossible to CAD, you would want to create a freeform model to help represent that data. After you start fixing the mesh. You're done fixing the mesh stuff. Then you've actually got the modeling tools. So you've got cross sections, 2D sketching tools, extracting two dimensional services from flat surfaces or just extrusions or rotational sketches to a revolve on a little sketch in CAD or extracting three dimensional curves like the turbine blade example again. Can you go a little bit more into that of these tools that it's just natively got? Right, so the backbone of this software is to figure out the design intent behind that model. Some of the tools that you just mentioned, doing the cross-sectioning, that will get you 2D sketches or curves that you can use as a reference in your CAD program. And we're talking specifically here in Geomagic Essentials. So some of the tools to kind of figure out the design intent is region detection, which detects the different regions of the mesh and then it kind of will tell you how it thinks the original designer created that part, whether they used a cylinder to cut through the model, they put some spheres into the model. You can extract, say, also holes and the specific diameter from them. The center points, the center things points. like that. And this, exactly. is that, this is that feature where you basically press the button, it processes, and then it colors the part. And then you can click on each one and it gives you that description of how how it could have been created. Exactly. So that makes it a lot faster to reverse engineer because then you actually have a game plan for, oh, here's how we create this part in CAD. And that's either in DesignX or 
in your CAD program of choice after you get your, your main measurements and things and your, your base layer for creating the actual part in CAD if you don't have Design X, right? Exactly. Moving right along, we've got feature extraction. Just went over that. You've got planes, cones, slots, cylinders. Obviously, you can get the two-dimensional stuff like the center points from circles and holes. But in 3D space, you're talking a little bit more of a challenge. And, you know, Geometric can do planes, cones, slots, cylinders, etc. But why does that matter? Starting off, like, you want to extract the features from a gasket. You have all the holes in a different position and Geomagic Centrals will allow you to extract um, the position of each hole, each center point, and you can use that as a reference to recreate the part or to figure out where to mount everything. This is in 2D space. If you want to go into 3D space to create a bracket to hold a part down, that's a lot harder to measure out with a ruler. So that's where having 3D scan data is really helpful because you can take in that data and then you can figure out where the hole is, put a center point down, and then bring it into your CAD program and you'll see the 3D scan data and where the holes are. And then you can just model from that and create whatever design you want and reference those areas. You know, one thing I learned as I was learning CAD is that CAD guys don't always just use a cylinder. If it's a bolt hole, I'm like, oh, that should be a cylinder. Well, no, it's a circle. And that circle and the plane that circles on and everything else like that gives you the center point and then it's it's a circle and that can be a hole, it can be whatever, but that's how it thinks. So it's really putting two-dimensional features onto a three-dimensional object and Geomagic is exquisitely good at that. And then moving right along into one of the best tools for a lot of different applications is the deviation analysis. Now this is sort of an inspection tool where you can make a heat map comparison between say a 3D file and an actual part that was made, whether it's metal or 3D printed or whatever, you can take that original CAD file have that in Geomagic, and then overlay the data from the mesh that you 3D scan and actually see a heat map of where it's off or low or high or whatever, or just completely off. So that's really cool. Now, it's pretty basic in Geomagic Essentials, but we'll get into Control X which has extremely capable features to give you entire reports and even to automate hundreds of scans that you did against an original CAD model and basically chunk out those PDFs in record time. Auto surfacing NURBS is for the organic shapes. Uh, it's, it's surface modeling as opposed to parametric design where it's actually gonna get those organic shapes and everything and it's gonna create that pretty much in the click of a button. We're gonna blast through the rest of these real quick because we just went over a lot of information. I hope you're enjoying this video, by the way. If this information is helpful, leave a comment down below and let us know because we'll do more in-depth technical stuff if you guys want more of it. The next step up from Geomagic Essentials is Geomagic for SolidWorks in the price category. So SolidWorks is obviously one of the most ubiquitous CAD programs out there if you're doing assemblies and full-on production. If you're a real professional, there's a good chance for using SolidWorks. And they've made an entire plugin for SolidWorks that gives you all the Geomagic Essentials tools inside SolidWorks. So you can actually use your SolidWorks tools with Geomagic. So there's way less of a learning curve and you can basically just get off the ground running a lot faster, right? Exactly. So Geomagic for SolidWorks is a plugin um, that has most of the tools of Geomagic Essentials. And the idea behind Geomagic for SolidWorks is again to be able to handle those bigger mesh data files and then also give you the tools to extract the design intent behind that model as a SOLIDWORKS user you know the the layout the layouts tools. the tools you want to stay within SOLIDWORKS if you've been using SOLIDWORKS for a while geomagic for SOLIDWORKS provides you with all of the feature extraction tools to help you figure out the 2d sketches or 3D shapes that go into making that model. And then you can use the uh, CAD modeling tools in SOLIDWORKS to recreate that model and to put it into your assembly um, and to make the perfect part. So if you've got a team of guys using SOLIDWORKS already, you wanna give them this reverse engineering software, but you don't want them to spend weeks figuring it out, then Geomagic for SOLIDWORKS is the one for you. Next, we go over to Design X, which is the full-fledged package for design, for making parts. A little different from Control X, which we'll get into in a second, but 
Design X is really one of the world's most powerful design tools in addition to reverse engineering, right? Design X is kind of the gold standard in the reverse engineering industry because it has everything that we've talked about so far with being able to handle massive data sets, figuring out the design intent behind the model, and then also giving you the CAD modeling system to create that part and then to analyze it against the scan data so that you can be confident that the part you create is gonna be um, very accurate. And also it seamlessly transfers over to any CAD program. That is absolutely massive because in full Design X, you have a live transfer tool, which my understanding is basically if you create something in it and then you, you like full CAD model, you create everything and then you want to take that into SolidWorks, maybe it's part of an assembly, maybe it's something else, it'll give you the entire history tree and every step of the way on how that was created in SOLIDWORKS. As if you were creating it in SOLIDWORKS oh. as well. So of course, everything we've talked about in Geometric Essentials is in DesignX and it's all more full-fledged. It's more robust in almost every single way from the feature-based CAD modeling, the accuracy analyzer tools, the creating solids and surfaces just like you would in CAD or, or parametric or the, you know, all this stuff is in there. We're gonna do a whole video on Design X, and we're gonna have a lot more videos where we actually show using it, and different things you can do. So leave a comment below with, hey, your questions. What do you want to see? What kind of process? Taking a hole and finding all the center points, or what do you guys wanna see in Design X so we can actually show you? So not only that, Geometric Essentials and then Geometric for SolidWorks, Design X has everything from both. So it's literally the complete thing. By the way, there's a really easy way to get two licenses of Design X for a very low cost uh, with the first year maintenance. But give us a call, ask about that, we'll give you the info. This tool allows you to expand your design capabilities. It really enhances your CAD environment. Uh, your time to market can be a lot faster just because of the efficiencies of these tools. Remember, this is the industry standard. This is the gold standard for reverse engineering CAD software. This is really, really high level stuff. Really when it comes down to it, it's about managing the impossible, which is huge, complex shapes, scans, data sets going into CAD. That engineers have spent days and days to create and if you want to reverse engineer that, you would spend minutes. weeks. So <laughs> yeah. if you have DesignX, it basically tells you all of the ideas and uh, thought that went into that creating that model. And you can recreate a very complex part that, spent, that someone spent weeks creating and you can do it within days. We'll touch real quick on Control X, another Geomagic software, which is more about inspection and validation. So when you're in manufacturing, you've got your CAD file and you're like, the part's supposed to be like this. And then you 3D scan the parts and it's all about comparing that scan data to what should be and all kinds of other tools for that. You can do scans and you can do heat maps and you can do call out flags on specific areas to make sure they're within tolerance and all this prints out into a very nice PDF that you can hand your client or your engineers or whatever. And on top of that, the full version of Control X, because there's also an essentials version, the full version will let you automate this whole process. So if you're manufacturing hundreds, thousands of parts, then you have one CAD model, you can do all the scans and then put it into Control X and it will do all the heavy lifting for you, give you all the reports, everything like that automated. So a huge time saver if you're doing inspection and stuff like that. But what else might someone use Control X for? You would want Geomagic Control X is so that you can use the full capabilities of your 3D scanner. Because 3D scanners have very high accuracy. If you're purchasing a metrology 3D scanner, you're going to need uh, inspection software to pair with that. So if you have a 3D scanner that can give you 10 micron accuracy, in order to measure that, you will need to have very specific inspection tools. And some of that includes doing linear, angular, radial, elliptical. You can measure linear, angular, radial, elliptical, bore depth, counterbore, countersink, thickness, straightness, flatness, circularity, syndrically, parallelism, per perpendicularity, angularity, position, concentricity, symmetry, line profile, surface profile, 
uh, run out and total run out and all sorts of other stuff. Guys, it just keeps going deeper. It's ridiculous. You got repeatable inspection routines, obviously, like I was saying with the PDFs, automate all that stuff. It's fully automated. And then there's a whole nother feature that's not really talked about much, but it's an airfoil analysis tool. What's that for? Well, I'm glad you asked because <laughs> yeah. it's a very specific tool um, that is meant to control the quality of turbines, bliss, blings, or blades. Geomagic Control X basically helps you measure the airfoil profiles, the leading and trailing edge position and thickness, camber lines, cord angles, and lengths, and also provides a 2D twist analysis. So that's very helpful for these specific parts and it makes sure that the manufactured part that is being created is up to the standard. If you have more questions, you want to buy the software, hit us up at visionminer.com. You can give us a call, shoot us an email. We're always here to help you get the right thing for your business, depending what you're trying to do. So call us up, we're here to help. We're gonna have a lot more videos of these uh, on these topics, on these softwares coming very soon. So make sure you subscribe, like, leave a comment if you got a question. Thank you so much for watching. Have a positive rest of your day and I'll see you on the next video.